The second type of shibori that I'm going to show you is going to be using the Decolorant Plus. The Decolorant Plus removes the color from the fabric and replaces it with a new color. I'm going to start with my same square of cotton, quilting cotton, and fold it in half. I'm going to do gathering stitches, in this case in a semicircle, along the fold. So that when I pull each end tight and knot it off, I have this type of effect. And again, you want to make sure that you leave very long thread trails so that you can make your knots. I'm going to be working right now with the decolorant orange, although I used neon pink on the rest of the samples you're going to see. And I am simply going to paint the tops of the gathers. I want to wait for this to get fully dry This one has been fully painted, and I'm now going to take my scissors and remove the gathering stitches by cutting the knots and pulling the ends. I've removed all the gathering stitches and open it up, and I now have this type of shibori look, because what I need to do is now heat set it. If I decided I didn't like the way this looked, I could simply wash it with a mild detergent and water and remove everything, start all over again once the fabric was dry. And if I decided I wanted a little more paint somewhere, or decolor it somewhere, I could turn around and add a little more with a brush and wait for it to dry. Now I'm going to take my iron set through cotton setting and begin to press my sample. you can see the decoloring action has gone all the way through. Now I just showed you doing a semicircle, but here I started with a square and the design of my basting stitch went around like this and kept going inside. And here is a diamond shape where the basting stitches went like that. So you're limited only by your imagination as to what you want to do.